Hey guys, what is up? It is Laura from Laura Marie Plans, and today I'm back with another weekly plan with me. This week I am planning the week of June 13th through the 19th in my Aura Estelle A5 Wide Planner using my Caress Press 2022 inserts. And this week I'm using the Scribble Prince Co. Kit which I'm totally blanking on the name right now, but it will be in the title, as well as a bunch of gold foil from um, various shops, but I did use the Hippie foil from Planner Choco um, from like a $2 Tuesday she had to go with the spread, and I really like how this turned out. I decided to use this kit this week because we did go to a music festival on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, um, to celebrate June, Juneteenth. Um, ideally I wish I had placed an order with Pink Diamond Planner Co. and gotten her exclusive Juneteenth kit. I wish that was more of a kit that was more accessible and not just at one shop because I've never ordered from them before, but I finally placed my first order. But, um, that would have been perfect for this because, um, I did go to something in the Water Festival in Washington, D.C. on the National Mall this weekend of this plan with me, and it was to celebrate Juneteenth, so it would have been perfect. But I used this kit instead, and I honestly didn't even think about it till recently um, because I didn't even like process anything and I got so I just got really swept away with my wedding we were kind of like in a bubble for a bit I feel like so now I'm kind of like coming back to reality if that makes any sense I don't know anyways we went to music festival this weekend it was really fun um it was three days long and we saw Lil Baby and then Anderson Pock on Friday there is also like so many artists and we only saw like one to three people a day <laughs> but also people I'll get into the stories later but on Saturday we saw Lil Uzi Vert Pharrell and Friends and then with Pharrell and Friends his friends included T.I. and Justin Timberlake and some other people that I didn't write down because I didn't know who they were and then on Sunday, we just saw Post Malone. Um, Post Malone was announced on Saturday that he would be there the next day. And yeah, so anyways, on Friday, it we were told it was really, really hot and Jake did have to work. So we didn't go till later and people were passing out like flies. Um, so... We went when it was much cooler, so we were fine. And then Saturday, we we went when it was cooler, too, because Jake had another work day. He had a game day that day, um, so we didn't we can go till later. And then Sunday, we were finally free. We had someone to watch Oliver, et cetera, and we decided to go to Post Malone early because the other days we had been going in later to the festival, and for Post Malone, we were there at, like, 3.30, and it was so hot and I just got so tired and like we went from our honeymoon straight to this music festival you guys will see this week when I plan and it was just a lot. I was just really, really tired. So <laughs> yeah, we didn't, I mean, I feel like we got our money's worth with the tickets we paid and who we saw and it was a good experience and all that. Um, but I know like I had other friends who went and they definitely got their money's worth. Like they saw so many more people. Um, but yeah, it was still a really, really fun time. And also this festival hippie style kit reminds me of my father-in-law, who's a huge like hippie and Grateful Dead fan and et cetera. So I thought he would also like this. So I have a Happy Father's Day quote box that I had left over from um, a while ago. And it's totally in hot gold. And the gold in this planner Choco foil is a weird gold. It's almost matte bronzy to me, which I've never used matte bronze. So I actually don't know how accurate that is. But it's a light gold, so light that it's almost like, I don't know, like, not yellow 
or orange. I don't know how to explain it. But then, like, the hot gold is much more yellowy. So, I don't know. I don't love the gold. But I do feel like it works. It's just a lot of different... My problem with gold is that every shop has a different gold. With silver, uh, that's not the problem. That's why I love silver. But with gold, every shop has a different gold. And so when you put it all together and you're mixing all the shops and stuff, it just starts to look really, really clustered sometimes, which is also partly why I prefer the foil bundles and then to like just stay mainstream with the same kinds of shop foils. But yeah, I just feel like with gold foil, it starts to look really like clustery and intense because none of the gold foils match at least for me and I'll try to get like gold and hot gold and like mix and match and like or not mix and match like literally the opposite of mix and match match and it still just doesn't work out but that's why I'm a silver lover I also only wear silver jewelry I never wear gold jewelry I just love silver but especially in foil I love silver too it's also just like a lot less and it's just it's just a neutral it's just a neutral for me anyways um yeah this week was super busy I literally had one two three four five extenders which is like the most ever this planner is about to be such a thick boy it's going to be a thick one I'm so glad I'm in rings now and I don't have to plan in a spiral and have it like literally explode out of it seems it's really nice I'm gonna take a drink I really like the I'm a huge juice person and I really like the simply lemonade with blueberry it's one of my faves so if you're in the store and you see it now you know all right moving on to the day by day Starting on Monday, we were still on our honeymoon from last Saturday until this Wednesday, y'all will see. So on Monday, we had a pool day, and then we did go to the beach, and then we had a couple's massage planned this day, which Jake hates massages, and he will, like, get them in Thailand because you're in Thailand, you have to. And then he also got them once when we went to Mexico together in the Cancun at another all-inclusive resort. We had a couple's massage and that one was like on the beach. He did not really like that one, but I think this was his favorite massage he's ever had. And he's one of those people who is not a big massage person. And I'm literally the opposite. Like this massage wasn't good to me because it wasn't like deep enough pressure but I'm glad Jake liked it and it was really relaxing either way. So we had that and then we did have a photo shoot booked as part of like the sandals where we were staying. Um, since you're spending so much money there, they um, offer like a free 20 minute photo shoot. But we actually got lots of photos out of it and it turned out really nice. And then we did go to a steakhouse, uh, which was awful. I actually got a really bad panic attack during this. And I just didn't like the vibes. It was really formal and I just wasn't here for it. And then we left there and we just sat at the bar and there was live music and dancing. So I just marked music and drinks. There was like a woman singing and live instruments and just people were dancing and like I think I ordered a crepe from the food truck, et cetera. And then um, we went back and we watched the NBA finals this day, which I don't know if this day was the day of the final or maybe it was a different day, but Jake was super into that. So we made sure to do that. And then I just marked that I cuddled Jake and I had some time with Jake. On Tuesday, we were up super early because we got tickets to do a dolphin swim. Um, and so we had to wake up really, really early to leave and catch the bus. And it was just like an awful time. Like it was fun, but I would not do it again if it was just me and Jake. Basically, we like got there. We took a bus to this place called Blue Lagoon Island, which is like off of Paradise Island. I think the Blue Lagoon Island is the tourist attraction, but it's off Paradise Island. And Paradise Island, when we took the boat from Paradise Island to Blue Lagoon Island, you see all these nice houses. I ended up Googling those houses and they're like Oprah Winfrey's house, Tiger Woods house, like all these 
famous rich people and they had these bougie ass houses on the Bahamas. Anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about that. Anyways, we had to wait forever. And then once we were finally checked in, we had to wait on this boat, which we were like the last ones on. And we still had to wait for a while. The boat ride was really, really nice. But then we get there and they're like, yeah, the boat, the next, the boat out isn't leaving until four. And we were like, what? We're not about to spend all day here. Like we paid so much money to stay at this all-inclusive resort and at this, um, island you have to pay for everything it's so expensive they only have one restaurant and then the beach and we're not big beach people like we'd much rather just chill at our private pool at our resort so we were not about it so we did the encounter and it was literally like 10 minutes long in duration and then we were done and we talked to a person who works there and we basically long story short managed to get on a boat with just ourselves back and some staff members and we took a taxi home back to the resort because we were not about to stay there all day like that was just about to be my worst nightmare and jay kept telling me like you know we're on a bougie island like enjoy it but i was like i can't like this just gives me anxiety so i marked uh that we went to the island we had a dolphin encounter we came back we had a really really good lunch and then we relaxed and then we decided to do hibachi this night for dinner which was the worst freaking asian food i've ever had in my life they basically doused everything in soy sauce and butter and it was just not good like it was so bad. It was so bad. They didn't even have yum yum sauce. Like I was, I was so sad. Um, and then we came back and our butler like decorated our room with rose petals and like ran the bathtub and put rose petals out there with like some bath bombs and soap. And then like, it was really cute. She like decorated our room all cute and romantically. Um, so I marked that and then we just had pool time at night and then this night was really exciting. We got our wedding photos back from our photographer, which he had quoted us, um, 90 days and I was like, oh my God, this is going to be the most miserable 90 days of my life. But he got them to us so soon and they are the best photos like ever. We were really particular with our photo and video people because that's like what Jake does for a living. Um, so we spent a lot of money on it. I'm not going to lie, but they definitely came through and they were amazing. Jake literally started crying all over again. It was so cute. Um, and then I just marked that we packed our bags on Wednesday. We had some cuddle time and then we did just go ahead and check out. I think we got breakfast delivered room service and then we just checked out. We took our flight out, um, from Nassau to DC. It was so, so, so quick. We got through security so fast. I know no one has good things to say about flights right now, but I mean, our flight there was kind of a pain because of the whole COVID scenario, but yeah, anyways, it was really nice. Um, and then I marked that we picked up Ollie finally. I was so, I missed him so freaking much. So I was really excited to see him. And then of course I always crave raw salmon and like poke or sushi or whatever when I'm abroad and not in Asia where that's readily available. So I had poke and gong cha this night as per usual because that's just like my fave. And then we watched Miss Marvel, which is one of my favorite shows. Oh, I actually, oh my God. It's Wednesday. New episode. Um, I'm definitely going to watch this after I film this like little voiceover. But I love Miss Marvel. I just feel like it does a really good job. And I really like the representation because I feel like we get such false representations of like that community a lot. And I really like that we like get to dive into their culture and it's not like blatantly racist and um phobic of yeah anyway um uh we kept staring at our wedding photos so i marked that and then i ordered lots of prints um and then we did binge obi-wan this day i finally started decided to start obi-wan i we started it together like a little bit before this but i couldn't get into it but oh my god i finished it now and i was very into it and it was so good obi-wan is our favorite because well obi-wan is jake's favorite 
Star Wars character, and then we named Ollie, Ollie Wan, which Wan means sweet in Thai, but then it's also like the nickname Obi-Wan, so that he can have that little like Star Wars nerdy reference for Jake um, and me. I'm a big Star Wars person too, I guess. So on Thursday, I slept in because I was so freaking tired from that honeymoon, <laughs> like just traveling more, you know. And then I had a bunch of calls with my psychiatrist. I was trying to get something figured out. Um, and then I did have a therapy appointment. Uh, and then I took Ollie to the dog park. And then this day we watched the NBA final. So this day must have been the final game, which the Warriors won, which I guess I was happy about. I'm not like that big into basketball until like playoffs usually. Uh, but I do get pretty into the playoffs, I guess, just because Jake does. But, I mean, we're, like, Wizards fans and they suck. So, you know. Um, and then we watched more Obi-Wan on Disney+. Plus, and then I ordered more prints. So I ordered prints for Jake for our 10-year anniversary, which has now passed. But it was June 30th. Um, and then I ordered a lot. I ordered 300 prints to put in thank you notes. And it is now done. But I basically gave everyone photos of themselves that our photographer took. If there were photos of them. Which there were photos of most people. At least dancing and stuff. Um, but then like our bridal party and our family and stuff. So we gave them all photos in their thank you cards. And it was just a lot of extra work. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then I had a super late night. My freaking sleep schedule got so thrown out of whack this week. I'm trying right now actively. It's like July now and I'm trying to fix it, but it's just been miserable, especially with my PCOS. On Friday, I slept in again and then I scratched my eyeballs. So I stayed up till 7 a.m. the night before with my contacts in. God knows why. And when I tried to take my contacts out at 7 a.m., my eyes were super dry and I scratched my eyeball so hard that it was really sore for this whole weekend and it was bright red and yeah, it just wasn't fun. I like literally was like, uh, my mom like thought I'd have to go to the doctor and I was concerned I'd need medicine because it was so painful. Um, and also like I wasn't supposed to be wearing contacts, but I didn't have working glasses at the time and I was at a music festival all weekend. So like it just wasn't, wasn't a good combo. And then I marked that it was something in the water day one, which did I mention something in the water is like a Juneteenth celebration that is run by Pharrell and friends. So that's fun. Um, and then we did see Lil Baby and then we saw Anderson Pac, which, oh my God, Anderson Pac was so good live. Um, and then we came home and we gave Ollie a bath. I literally don't know why. And then we watched, or I watched 90 Day Fiance. Jake does not watch 90 Day Fiance. On Saturday, um, so on Saturday and Sunday, I did this fun like extender thing because I had so much stuff to mark where I did a wide extender and then put like something in the water day two and day three on the wider boxes. I don't know. I thought it was kind of cute. You guys will see here. Um, but I marked something in the water day two. And then we did buy lots of merch because their merch was so cute. Um, well, actually this happened all after. So first went to Target because I needed some last minute festival stuff, you know, how it be. And then I saw my friend there who was also at the festival and we ran into each other. It was just really funny. And then I got Starbucks. I hung out with my bestie, Ra, and then I went to the dog park and then we went to the festival because Jake worked all day. So we didn't go to the festival till later. So I marked day two of that and then that we bought merch. Sorry, that was a little out of order, but like the order doesn't really matter to you guys. But then we saw Lil Uzi Vert, who was so good live. They were all really good live, like not to count anyone out. They were all really good live. And then, oh my God, between Lil Uzi Vert and Pharrell and Friends, I'm not going to lie. I thought... I was going to be stampeded to death for a second there. Yeah, it was it was pretty bad. Um, they had to sound out warnings and stuff. And, like, I'm pretty sure people were stampeded. I don't think anyone died. But it got really crowded for a hot sec. And I my anxiety started to kick in there. Um, but then we saw Pharrell and Friends. We also ate a bunch of really good food. They had such, 
such good food there. <gasps> I had really good fried shrimp and french fries and chicken tenders and strawberry lemonade and then good smoothies, good ice cream. Um, it was all just so good. So then we saw Pharrell and Friends and during Pharrell and Friends, T.I. came out and so did Justin Timberlake. Which it was really cool seeing Justin Timberlake live because I've never seen him live. Well, I haven't seen most of these people live except Post Malone, I think. But I was really into Justin Timberlake too. And then on our way back, we got McDonald's because to be honest, the food there was really expensive. And this day we did spend, we spent the most amount of time there on this day. So we were like getting back at 1 a.m. and I was hungry. And then God who knows why I marked that I had a cleaning day. I must have stayed up late and then I played with Ollie. I don't even know how I did all that after going to a music festival all day, but apparently I still cleaned and played with Ollie. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. On to Sunday. I first marked that it was Juneteenth as well as Father's Day. Very important holidays to mark. Um, and then I marked something in the water day three. And then, like I said, this day we decided to go earlier and we went early and we saw Post Malone. He was so good live. This was our second time seeing him live. But last time we saw him live was in, I think, 2015, Jake and I said, which was seven years ago now. And like the amount of hits he has now and how far he's come is like amazing. Like he's always had great stage performance and like always been an amazing performer and singer and songwriter whatever but like just like all his hits now like all his songs that he was singing were bops and I was so here for it and it was just so enjoyable and he's just so good on stage I highly recommend seeing Posty because he's really he has amazing stage presence like one of the best Jake and I think and we have been to a lot of concerts so I feel like we would know um but yeah so we loved Post Malone and then after Post Malone I was so hot and there were supposed to be a bunch of people still this night there was supposed to be Calvin Harris who I wanted to see there's supposed to be um 21 Savage, Tyler, the creator, like all these people. But we went back to the car and then we decided to go to Luke's Lobster, just like chill a little. So I got us some nice food from Luke's Lobster, which I love me a lobster roll, but like they be expensive AF. Okay. Um, and then we went to Jake's facility um where he works like the gaming studio and we were both just like so tired at this point we were just like should we go home and he was like genuinely will you be happier if we go home and I was like uh he was like just tell me honestly like I don't care and I was like yeah and he was like then let's go home and so yeah so basically we went home we didn't stay for the rest of it I was so freaking pooped um, it was just a lot. So we went home. I marked that I was tired AF. I got to watch the new episode of 90 Day Fiance, which I was really excited about. I love Sundays for those reasons. And then I got to edit, which is always fun doing that right now. And then this day, um, we, so at some point the night that we dropped off Ollie and we were alone, we turned on our Roomba for the first time. And then we were like talking about how hilarious it would be with Ollie and all that. So we started it on this day. Um, we turned on the Roomba, which we got as a wedding gift with Oliver and he was hilarious with it. Like it's the Roomba is almost like a bug the way it acts. So it was just really, really funny. And then recently we had Mochi over to my parents' puppy and she also reacted really funny to it. So it was just really funny. So I wanted to mark Oliver in the Roomba and then we watched Netflix. No idea what I watched. Let's go to the next week. Uh, I have no idea what I watched on Netflix. Maybe a movie. And then couldn't sleep again this night. Had an awful night's sleep. Could not fall asleep. And then, like, the next day was just miserable for me. But that is this week in full. I absolutely love how this turned out. I never would have used this kit if I didn't have a music music festival to go to. And I also wouldn't have if I had the Juneteenth kit, which I also think would have looked really, really amazing this week for um, from Pink Diamond Planner Co. Especially because that's Darcy art and, like, it's just a vibe. So I definitely want to use that next year. 
But this is what this year's spread turned out. I'm glad I got to celebrate Juneteenth nonetheless. Didn't really celebrate Father's Day at all. Um, but I'm glad I got to celebrate Juneteenth and just get to listen to a bunch of black artists and music creators and directors and just it was a really good experience. So I'm glad I got to do that. It was also our honeymoon part two, we like to call it. So it was just an enjoyable experience all around. Thank you guys for listening to this plan with me and following me along. Make sure to follow me on my planner Instagram at Laura Marie Plans, as well as for up close pictures of this spread. Make sure to like and subscribe. What am I doing? Oh, I think I had to cut that part off. Um, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And um, I will see you all in my next video. These are all the leftovers. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.